Greetings fellow editors. I want to introduce you to new support tools, Merlin and Undead, which will be gradually implemented in every night's nice extension. The first one to get them is Grave Robber, for which a new update has just been released. And in this video I will use Grave Robber as an example to show what these tools will do. Merlin is a control surface plugin that gives extensions even more control over Premiere Pro than just by using API. In Grave Robber I used a workaround to copy-paste clips by sending commands to the operating system, which would then send commands to Premiere Pro, then I made some checks if copy-paste actually happened and it worked. But sometimes there were errors. With Merlin this process is simplified, more robust and the speed of operations is increased. Merlin will be automatically installed during the installation of Grave Robber or other extensions in the future. After installation, all you need to do is add Merlin in Premiere Pro settings in the control surface menu. This will need to be done after every major update of Premiere Pro 2025, 2026, etc. If you forget, you will be reminded to do that. Undead is an extension for undo groups. Some operations in extensions can create multiple actions in the history stack. So to undo them you either need to undo multiple times or the extension can have a special undo command to automate this process, like Grave Robber did have a tombstone button which is now gone. With Undead Premiere Pro's undo is the king. You can just use it and groups of actions generated by extensions will be undone automatically. Here I unnest some nests with Grave Robber, so I get a lot of actions in the history stack and I can undo them all with a single execution of Premiere Pro's undo command and redo them back. Undo, redo, undo, redo, great! Like Merlin, Undead will be installed automatically and that's it. No extra steps after installation. That is all. Thank you.